Paul Chevrolet in Milton, Ontario. Just wanted to show you the main differences between the 2016 Silverado here on my left and the 2015 on my right. There are some big changes both inside and outside. I just want to take a few minutes to show you what those are. Um, so up front we have a new headlight and that is set off by a new LED strip above and below the grill here. Really, really nice looking headlight and as you can see looks a lot different than the one on the 15. The grill as well actually now features a little slope down here too. Um, and it actually slopes upward just a little bit as well gives it a little bit more of a purposeful look and as you can tell on the 15 that grill is horizontal um, I actually like the 16 a little bit more just looks at a little bit more muscular and it also has a new tri-beam fog lamp now that's the first on a full-size pickup and let me tell you it is super bright when you're in fog or at night it's crazy bright the 15 has fogs too but they are not the tri-beam um, and they're not quite as bright as what you'll get on a 16 either there's even a new hood too so you can see the sort of hood bulge there on the 16, not sure how well you can see it in the video, but with the 15 it's just sort of two larger bulges, um, and again the 16 gets a new hood across all models as well. There's even the option of an 8-speed auto now on LTZ and High Country models, that was not offered on the 15 on any model, so the Silverado for the first time ever gets GM's new 8-speed sh uh, slick shifting automatic transmission and it is a dream to use. Now let's have a look inside, just to show you what the 15 looks like very briefly. It has a baseline, very nice interior. And there are two big changes on the 16 that I'm excited to show you guys about because they really transform the way that uh, you can use this car. Now one of the main differences is the addition of the wireless charge pad here. So you just put your phone in there, take the keys and any coins out and away you go. Um, that does not support Apple or Samsung products at the moment, but capability should be coming in the next year. Um, we hope short, uh, shortly. And we also have Apple CarPlay. Now I will show you how to use this exactly um, in more detail in a separate video, but let me just briefly tell you how it's done. Uh, my projection is Apple, is actually Apple CarPlay. Obviously there's nothing connected now. Um, so what that is, that will turn into CarPlay or Android when you plug in your phone, and all Apple CarPlay and Android Auto does is mirrors what is on your phone in terms of apps, so it puts all the apps exactly how they are on your phone here. It's really, really easy, really, really simple, really seamless. The best system I have used so far. So that's the, that's the biggest changes really, guys. Um, inside, CarPlay and your wireless charge port. Outside, new headlights, new hood. Um, new fog lamps and the 8-speed automatic transmission. Thanks so much for watching guys. Uh, please post your questions and comments below and we will be posting more 2016 Silverado videos and 2016 GM model uh, vehicles as well so stay tuned for that. Thanks, bye for now.